Hello and welcome to part 2 of the two part lesson on post processing of simulation results of an FSA car. In the previous video, we have discussed about how to plot different contours, vectors and how to create different scenes. In this video lesson, we will start our discussion by plotting path lines. Then we will discuss how to plot and analyze ISO surfaces. Finally, we will create sweep surface animation to understand the evolution of flow vortices around the car body. With this, let's get started. Path lines provide information about the path travelled by the fluid particles in the flow field and are an important visualization technique to understand the qualitative flow behavior around the car. Let us now plot velocity path lines emerging from the different locations to see how the flow behaves near different car surfaces. To do so, first let's display mesh with the ground as shown here. Keep faces on. Now we need to create reference line for the path lines ahead of the front wheel. To create line surface, click on line slash rake surface option. Rename it as reference line FW and click on create points with mouse or directly enter the coordinate for endpoints. Select the two endpoints as shown by right clicking on displayed mesh. Change the Y coordinate to 0.15 to elevate the line from the ground and hit create. Now click on new under path lines option. Once path lines window is displayed, rename it as path lines FW. Select the created line surface as shown under the release from the surface window. Check draw mesh option and unselect ground from the display mesh window. Change the style setting as per your liking. Select velocity and velocity magnitude under color by drop down and click save slash display. Path lines released from the created line or rake are now displayed on the screen. The path lines clearly show the different phases of airflow at different locations around the car. Towards the front of the car, airflow is only redirected and appears largely undisturbed. However, this airflow starts showing a rather chaotic behavior towards the middle part of the car and more so near the rear end and the wheels. The circular patterns observed in the wake are indicative of the presence of rotating or swirling airflow pattern caused by creation of the vortices. We can use the pulse option to animate these path lines. Play around with the step size and other settings to increase the length of the pulses. To study airflow patterns at different locations, appropriate surfaces can be created which can be used to plot the path lines. Let's now move to ISO surfaces. ISO surfaces are a powerful visualization tool in CFD qualitative post processing which can be used to qualitatively understand and analyze the behavior of the fluid flow. They are used to identify regions of fluid flow where a particular scalar variable such as velocity, magnitude, pressure or temperature has a constant ISO value, which can help in identifying prominent features of the fluid flow such as recirculation zones, separation region and shock waves. Here, we will be using the ISO surfaces to look at regions of low separation. As fluid flows over a curved surface, it sometimes encounters adverse pressure gradients that cause the flow to detach from the surface. Beyond the point of flow separation, the local flow near the surface is reversed 
creating a recirculation region in the flow field. In this region, the fluid flow is in the opposite direction to the bulk flow. Flow separation should be avoided as much as possible as it leads to significant increase in the drag force experienced by the object. To display recirculation region created by parts of an FSI car, we'll plot an ISO surface of X velocity. Click on Create Surfaces and select the ISO surfaces from the list. Select velocity under the surface of constant and change the velocity magnitude to X velocity. Use Compute button to compute minimum and maximum values for the ISO surfaces. Use slider or just type in the required ISO value which is minus 0.1 meters per second in this case. You can try with different values if wanted. Rename it as recirculation region and hit save. To display the recirculation region, click on new under mesh option. Select all surfaces related to car and select recirculation region under the surfaces and hit save slash display. You can see the recirculation regions present behind the wheels, aero wings, behind the driver cockpit and behind the main hood. This is expected as the flow is reversed in these regions and hence the X velocity has a negative value. In order to eliminate or reduce recirculation regions, engineers need to identify the cause of recirculation and address it, which mostly results in redesigning of few car components. Similarly, we will create ISO surface for total pressure. These ISO surfaces can be used to identify areas of losses or low energy that lead to drag force generation. Right click in graphics window, go to surfaces and click on ISO surfaces from the drop down. Select pressure under surface of constant drop down, then change the static pressure to total pressure and click compute. Put the ISO value shown here and click create. Now display the new mesh with all car surfaces and then drag the created ISO surface from the outline tree to drop in the graphics window as shown here. This is the total pressure ISO surface with the set ISO values. As can be seen here, the ISO surfaces or clouds of total pressure can be observed starting from the top of the front wheel to the rear portion of the front wheel which further continues over the side wheels. The ISO surfaces features rather prominently in the wake region, which is expected as the low energy flow in this region is responsible for the pressure drag generated by the car. When we neglect the influence of gravitational effects, the total pressure is determined by the sum of the static and dynamic pressure. This combination represents the overall energy present in the flow field. The distribution of energy within the flow field has significant implications for the aerodynamic performance of the FSA car. Lower energy regions associated with having thicker boundary layers where viscous effects are dominant or the existence of turbulent wake behind the car are generally detrimental to the car's performance. We'll create sweep surface animation of the total pressure to understand the energy distribution around the car in the domain. To create sweep surface animation, click on sweep surface option under the animation group. Enter the initial value as minus 1 and final value to 4 in the sweep animation panel. Set frames to 120. Select display type to contour and open contour properties panel. Check and uncheck the various options shown here then change contours to pressure and total pressure. Set minimum and maximum limit as per the required values. In our case, we will use minus 50 Pascal for minimum value and 50 Pascal for maximum pressure value. We need to see animation on symmetry surface, so select symmetry under the surface and click OK. 
click on animate button to view the sweep surface animation. The regions with small total pressure are the regions where the energy of the fluid flow is low. We can see that these low energy regions are associated with vortices forming in the flow, especially in the wake region of the wheels and the rear wing of the car. Understanding and managing these low pressure regions is crucial for optimizing the performance and stability of a car especially for dynamic FSA events such as autocross and endurance. By analyzing and strategically modifying these areas, engineers can enhance the vehicle's downforce, reduce drag and improve overall handling and efficiency. Let's summarize what we have learned in this lesson. In this lesson, the path lines were first plotted to understand the flow trajectory in the fluid domain. Then we learned how to plot isosurface for negative x velocity and total pressure and discussed about recirculation regions. Finally, we illustrated how to use sweep surface animation to study the energy distribution in the fluid domain. With this, let's wrap up the lesson.